Hey Jim, Heidi, uh, or I guess I should say hey bro, since that's what we always say. Uh, Heidi posted some pictures of this for people to see, but uh, I wanted to give you a little bit more of an explanation. This is uh, a necessity. We needed more space to get more kids at the table. Um, I had some scrap wood, other than this big piece here is obviously not scrap, but um, I wanted to use some scrap wood and I wanted to mimic the form of the Moravian workbench I had done. Uh, and yeah, so I did through tenons, but I, a bench that I did before this, a smaller one, it was kind of a test, um, it was wobbly. So the, if, if you, it kind of quickly goes past the point of, of where it wants to tip. So I wanted to splay the feet, but I also wanted to keep this angle uh, that I visually liked that, that mimics the, the Moravian style bench. So I did, I did uh, two angles on there so that uh, the leg goes this way, but it also comes out this way. I think, it's, I think it's maybe seven degrees this way and maybe three degrees this way. And then I did the dovetail stretcher. I, live, I left some of my joints proud because it's, it's a kid's bench. And so I like the idea that they can not only, not only see the joinery, but feel it. As your hand goes over it, even here, the, it bumps up a tiny bit. Um, yeah, my world is, is kids. On the finish, uh, I, I can kind of make a Danish oil sort of thing from the things I can get locally. Um, and it looks good, but like I said, it's a practical bench. So I, I tried to seal it pretty well with the varnish that you can get locally to, to make it decently waterproof. But the stuff is just terrible. I'm not... I wanted to experiment and kept trying to get better, but I'm not sure it's of enough of a high enough quality to actually get any better than I did. I did a lot of sanding and layering and it's, it's still decently tacky. We'll call it, we'll say it has good grip <laughs> for the practicality's sake. Um, so, and then I wanted to do an artistic detail with this. Um, it's just a eucalyptus branch that I had there in the garage. If you come up close here, you can see um, right here's, this is a, a nail hole from, what was this before I, I think it was just some rafters from, from an old roof. Um, but I, I wanted to do, it comes to this here. I couldn't quite wrap my head around how to get this joint. Um, I couldn't quite wrap my head around how to get this joint straight, you know, so that the wood followed the angle of this just right. When it's a round piece, I don't have a reference for it. I might try it one more time. I think I could do it now. And I, I also finished that wood with a little bit of you know, kind of my homemade Danish oil. And I kept a live edge over here. I wanted to, I liked, I liked the lighter wood. And some of it was just too soft. So I, I but then I, I kind of brought that curve around here. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show that off. You can see a gap in my joinery here. Not, not very good yet, but we're getting there. I could have filled it with something. Maybe I still will. If not, it'll be filled with rice that gets smooshed in there. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, and I, I left the Y on here a little bit. I, I just like that visual element. So, there you have it. I would love for you to be able to sit on this someday. We'll see. Really? He's being so nice. Normally he would have just plowed it right over. Oh, oops. Come on, Slick. <laughs>